So today I am with Pixie and Yasmin. Pixie is a highly established contortionist and Yasmin contortions with her and she is a gymnast as well. very bendy and Pixie's going to take us through her stretching routine. So this is what I do with all my students um, no matter what level they are so you can do it to your level and uh, don't push yourself too hard if it's too much it is going to hurt but it shouldn't be excruciating pain so just do it to where you can cope with and okay. enjoy. Have fun. And have fun. Yeah. <laughs> okay guys we're going to go straight into the stretching and Pixie is going to take it from here. So if you just start standing with your feet together and lean forwards as much as you can, try and get your hands on the floor, make sure your knees are really straight if you can, and then go up onto your tiptoes and then rock back onto your heels and flex your feet. You should feel this all the way down the back of your legs in your hamstrings and calves and also it's a nerve stretch for the back of your legs. And When you rock back onto your heels it should feel quite intense. If you just sit in a comfortable straddle, whatever is comfortable for you, don't push it too hard into a box split yet because we're just warming up. And lean forwards as far as you can, don't push it too hard and try and relax. Just bring your legs together and then relax forwards again. Don't push it too hard. And then flex your feet and you should feel it more down the back of your legs and in your nerves. If you just put one foot in front of the other quite loosely, don't cross your legs fully and um, relax forwards and um, you should feel this in one of your glutes. So having loose glutes is really important for back bends and doing back bends will tighten your glutes up so it's really important to stretch them out or it'll put strain on your lower back. Pull one leg out in front of you, try and get your foot as far forwards as you can while still keeping your hips square and in line and facing the floor. And then lean forwards as much as you can and you should feel that more in your glute again. And just sit upright and pull your foot in at the back as far as you can or just grab your foot if that's all you can manage. Make sure your hips are still facing forwards and push down towards the floor. If you can't keep your foot out that much, pull it back in, it's fine. You can sit on your foot if it's still really uncomfortable. take that into a lunge now. When you're lunging make sure your foot is directly underneath your knee. Don't fold in too much and have your foot underneath your hip. Make sure you're really pushing into your hip flexor and then straighten your front knee and try and get your head on your knee at the front. Don't worry if you can't. Don't sit back onto your heel. Make sure you're still upright. And if that's too easy, try and get your head on the floor and flex your foot. 
and then push back to a lunge, lift your arms up. And then lean forwards, try and get your elbows on the floor if you can, don't worry if you can't. If that's too easy you could try and get your chest on the floor too. And straighten both your knees and lean forwards, try and touch the floor, if you can't don't worry. Make sure both your feet are parallel and your back foot's not turned out. If it's easy, flex your front foot so you can feel it a bit more. And you could even push back and try and aim your head to your next leg. And push back into a lunge again. And try and grab your foot at the back. Don't worry if you can't. And you're going to try and slide down as far as you can into your split. Don't worry if you're really far away. If you're really far away, hold on to some blocks at each side. Just try and straighten your legs as much as you can. Make sure your back knee is facing the floor, not facing the side. You should feel your knee down on the floor. And if that's comfortable, try and pull your foot in at the back to your hip as much as you can. You could do it yourself. So if you're very close to being able to do the splits, doing an over split will help even if you're not flat yet, just to get that extra bit faster. So you can put your front foot on a block or on a step. It's good to try and hold it where you're not quite touching the floor with your hip. And wherever you are, in an over split or a normal split, just hold one hand up for 10 seconds. And the other hand up for 10 seconds. and then both hands up for 10 seconds, which will be quite intense. And now we're gonna repeat everything on the other side.
we're going to stretch your hips out to work towards box splits. So just use your elbows to push your knees back as far as you can. And if that's quite comfortable, push into one side, straighten one arm. If it's not, just stick with the easier variation. And then you're going to do a lunge to the side. So it's really important to keep the foot of the bent knee flat on the floor, don't go onto your toe. And then keep your knee directly over your foot as well, don't fold in too much. And make sure your knee of your straight leg is facing the ceiling. And then you could use your elbow to push your knee back even further. Don't worry if you're really far away from the ground. And then you're going to lie on your front with your knees at right angles, so make sure your hips are in a straight line with your knees and it's not a diamond. If you have a stretching partner, you could get them to put a little bit of weight on if you can take it. And if you lie on your back and put your feet on your partner's ankles and have them push down on your knees. This one is really intense, so start really gently. Make sure their knees are in line with their hips and it's not a diamond, so right angles at the knees and make sure the feet are in the same line as the knees as well. And now you're going to hold your box split wherever it is, it doesn't matter if you're really far from the floor. When I'm stretching my box split I keep my knees turned in and my pelvis rotated forward slightly. Some people stretch it turned out but I can't get enough gravity on it if I do that. So make sure your hips are in a really straight line with your knees and feet doing it against the wall so that you're touching the wall with your bum and your legs and your feet to make sure you know that you're in a straight line. I have to add that I am 5 foot 2 so it just shows how tiny these two really are. So thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did please like, comment, subscribe and share and don't forget to join our Patreon if you want to see more of our videos. And yeah, I'll be showing you how to get different tricks like walkovers, balancers, handstands. So yeah, tune in, it's going to be very exciting. Bye! <laughs> <laughs>